our amazing wildlife and biodiversity. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Sri Dean Kuriokos. Thank you, sir. Sir, the bill seeks to implement the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, that is size. Sir, it is a protection for wild animals, birds and plants. Sir, the main amend amendments have been taken place in the area of schedules. Earlier in 1972 Act, there were six schedules, and now it's reducing to four schedules. As per the new amendment, Mr. Schedule 1 specifies the animals uh, which ever needed the uh, stronger protection, and the Schedule 2, that means the animals which ever needed lesser protection, and Schedule 3, it's uh, uh, handling about the uh, plant species, and Schedule 4 specified it's for the species from the convention. So the Schedule 5 is going to delete from the amend, uh, delete uh, from after passing this amendment. So the entire content of uh, this act and uh, the new amendments, whoever violating the uh, Wildlife Protection Act, he must be punished, no doubt about that. But uh, my concern is about the human animal conflict, sir. We are, we have to uh, protect the wildlife, but we have to protect the people who are living outside the forest also. That's my concern. I'm coming from the area that is more than 350 kilometers of uh, boundary with forest. Day to day we are facing the issues. That means as per the Kerala government statistics, 1,233 people have, have died the last 10 years by animal attacks. More than 34,875 times wild animals attacks have taken place uh, in the uh, state of Kerala. 6,803 people have injured. In my constituency alone, by elephant attack, 40 people have uh, died in the last uh, 10 years. Sir, uh, so many people have uh, raised this matter here. What is the number of elephants of all over India? It's crossed uh, 30,000 now. It's above the carrying capacity uh, of uh, carrying capacity of our, our forests, sir. Sir, uh, that means we should protect the uh, wildlife, but we have to protect the life of the people who are living outside the forest also. Sir, as per the Supreme Court judgment, buffer zone is going to extend one kilometer. That means there are some restrictions should be should come. In my constituency, there are eight national park and uh, 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 another uh, wildlife sanctuary also, sir. There are nine wildlife sanctuaries and national parks. In the surroundings, one kilometer buffer zone is coming means the people have to evict automatically because we can't live with the animals. So we have to address that case uh, specifically. Supreme Court permits, there are some relaxations. First, we have to approach CEC, then Ministry of Environment and Forest, and then Supreme Court. It will take more time. Uh, it, is, it is a time-consuming process. For avoiding that time-consuming process, uh, for excluding the uh, people inhabitant area from the buffer zones, we should have a legislation. That's my request to Honorable Minister. We should have a legislation for avoiding the people inhabitant area and plantation agricultural land from this buffer zone. Uh, 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 union government should intervene in this case and uh, we should uh, pass a new enactment for protecting our farmers, especially farmer communities, sir. Sir, uh, what about uh, the uh, vermin list? So many uh, people have raised already. As per the new amendment, the vermin list has not been uh, there in the uh, new uh, act. Uh, schedule 5 is going to merge with the schedule 2 of the uh, 19, uh, sorry, uh, new amendment uh, bill. That, that means uh, we can't call all the uh, animals together as vermin. It is true. But vermin should be there, sir. We have the bitter experience about wild boar. Our demand from Kerala state, honorable minister is very much aware about that. Wild boar attack is, we can't imagine, thousands of uh, wild boars are coming in one time and they're destroying the agricultural lands, acres of lands within a time. And if, uh, uh, if you are announcing it as vermin, we can shoot at sight, that is correct. But there is another way, there is no another way. 
because it is the survival crisis of our farmer community sir so i request on behalf of kerala uh, wild boar should announce as vermin and the definition of vermin by new amendment uh, as per the new amendment vermin means wildlife uh, as per the section 62 section 62 saying that uh, uh, two minutes sir section 62 uh, saying that uh, all the animals apart from uh, schedule uh, 1 sir uh, 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 so uh, it should be amended vermin all the animals including uh, uh, wild boar that is my amendment government be, uh, granted sir uh, sir we should have a wildlife uh, po management policy should have to adopt sir wildlife must be considered as a renewable resources and their reproduction must be controlled accordingly to do this in a scientific way the existing section 12 uh, needs to be amended by incorporating, incorporating subsection for um, uh, scientific colleagues, sir. Permission uh, must be given for hunting those animals like wild boars that are reproducing at an alarming rate even beyond the capacity of forest area. Section 11 and 12 uh, needs to be amended accordingly, sir. Sir, the farmers are not getting enough compensation. So my demand, my humble demand, we should have a tribunal like Motor Accident Claims Tribunal uh, for providing enough compensation to our farmers. Uh, for, they are the victims of wild, uh, wildlife attacks. Sir, it is also imperative to establish a human sensitive zone 500 meters to inside the forest. Uh, uh, to stop the wildlife, uh, uh, wildlife uh, yeah, animals. Thank you. To the, the there are more speakers from your party, actually. I'm concluding uh, just for one or two sentences. The punishment norms also uh, has to uh, modify, sir. There is an amendment uh, proposed in Section 54. The money for uh, for, uh, for composition under Subsection 1 are 25,000 rupees. It is amended to or it is raising to five lakhs. Five lakhs. I'm welcoming that, but. At the same time, as per Section 53, any officials have done any, uh, anything by Section 50 that is illegal confinement or arrest or wrongful seizure, he may be punished by imprisonment for a term of six months or with fine of 500 rupees. Sir, it should also has to increase, sir. By these words, I am concluding. Uh, human life also should be protected. Uh, that, that is the main point I, am, yes, I would like to you. highlight here. Thank you, sir.